Hey everyone, in this video, I will show you how to design a personal life dashboard in Notion. I will cover what to include on your dashboard, how to design the layout, how to use custom filters, and how to create linked database views. After watching this video, you will have a highly functional workspace that makes digital organization easier and more enjoyable. This Notion dashboard is part of the Ultimate Life Planner template. You can check it out in the description box below. Let's get started. On your Notion workspace, create an empty page for your personal dashboard. Go to the top right corner to maximize the width. You can add some columns to space out the layout of your dashboard. Here I'm using three columns to provide different sections across the left, middle, and right areas. You can place a goal tracker on the left side of your dashboard so that you can see what you are working towards on a daily basis. I'm going to select an existing database from the Live Planner template. Now, if you already have a goal tracking database in your Notion, just copy the link to that database view, go back to your new dashboard, then paste it into the left column. Add a callout block to give this section a title, like Goal Progress. Expand the size of the left column. Click on the setting. Change the layout design to gallery or any design you prefer. Go back, click on the property setting. Display the progress bar, current status, custom tags, and hide anything that is not important. You can add the status directly on the gallery or click to open a goal entry, update the target and complete the value as you move towards your goal. The progress bar will update automatically so you can instantly see how far you have come. You can think of this section as an area to stay focused and get things done. For instance, you can add your task management database here. If you are using the Ultimate Life Planner dashboard, just copy the database and paste a link view here. Once it's in place, you can create an organized view based on when they are due. For example, I can group tasks by yesterday, today, tomorrow, and the next seven days. You can also organize your tasks by calendar view. Hide the database title, click on this tab, duplicate the table view and turn this into a calendar. Then go to the property setting, Switch on the properties such as related projects, status, and automated countdown on due dates. Now you can have more control over the way you manage your project's tasks. If you're working on projects, it's really helpful to organize your task planner by project. Here's how to do it. Add a new view, select the board option, choose your task manager database, then group your database by related projects. That way, you can see which project each task belongs to. Turn on the property display for priority, due date, status, and task category. If you want to see the progress for that entire project, just click on the title. Here you can see the progress of completion. You can even search for all related to-dos, documents, notes, and bookmarks that are linked to this specific project. This is how my template connects everything in one place so you can focus on getting things done and not wasting time searching. Let's talk about managing personal finances using a Notion dashboard. Start by adding an income and expense tracker. Once that is in place, create a filter that only shows records from this month. Go to the group setting, separate records from income and expense. That way, every time you check in, you know exactly how much you have spent versus how much you have brought in. Add a separate view for past financial records. Click on the view and duplicate. Go to the group setting, organize your data by date and by month. Click on the setting, show aggregation, 
Here I have set up automated calculation that allows you to see total income or total expenses for a particular month. With this setup, you can always go back and review previous financial data right from the dashboard. Add a new empty view. Select a database where you have set up your automated financial report. Go to the property setting to customize your display. Change the order of the property. And now you have a summary view that shows total income, total expenses, and the total amount saved. This report section is so useful, especially if you want to have a quick review on your personal finances without going into the details. Another feature you can add to your Notion dashboard is a habit tracker. Start by adding a habit tracker database. Change the layout to gallery for a cleaner and more visual design. Customize the filter to show only entries for this week or this month. Go to the property setting and turn on the display for the date, habit list, and progress bar. Organize the date in ascending order. Now let me show you how to record your habits. Add a new entry, let's say for today. Click the Add icon and select the habits you have completed. As you go about your day and check things off, the habit percentage will automatically update. I can duplicate this view and add another one to show the past habit tracking reports. Change the layout to board. Select the detail you want to display on the board view. Go to the group setting, select by date and by month. Remove the filter to show all the entries. And now you can compare your month over month habit progress by checking the average habit percentage for each month. Here are some additional features you can add on your Notion dashboard. On the right column, you can add things like current time and date, automated daily summary, event calendar, and a learning tracker to keep track of books, online courses, and podcasts you are currently consuming. Continue to watch my other videos if you are interested in Notion setup and examples.